Hello, faithful viewer. I'm Russell T. Davis. I am the writer of this episode. Hello, faithful viewer. I'm Julie Gardner, the exec producer. Hello, faithful viewer. I'm, <laughs> I'm David Tennant. That's me in the coat. And I... Russell, how excited are we to see David? I've oh, just been jumping up but, and down. When very did we last excited. You were jumping up, up, up and down as we hugged. When did I Terribly last bad see you? Because this is being recorded just a, a good while after we finished recording, but just before David goes to Stratford, which we don't say often. Yes, yes. yes. To be I'm, 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 yes, I'm back to the stage. Enough of this. Yes. Running around in a terms long of cold. commentaries, it's the dream team. Frankly. It is the dream team. They've been keeping <laughs> us apart. They have. It's taking us till episode 12. I don't yeah. have we Have the three of us ever done one together? Oh, I sat listening to a no, podcast last night and they explained how green screen works to me. I'm sitting there going, shut up. It's like you back at work. <laughs> Look, we've okay, got none of that here, faithful no, viewer. No, look, look. <laughs> no actual information will be exchanged. Eyes forward, look at the screen. Milkman, yeah. how marvellous, Russell. David is a milkman. So we... marvellous, we want him where? Uh, we're going to cast this man in Sarah, Sarah Jane. Yes. Oh, yes, are you? because you we are. think he's so good. He's, Can you remember um... his name? No. Next year. <laughs> In you the are world. The Brando oh, it's a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> How does that work, Russell? I've no idea. I don't care. Torchwood viewers will remember this from episode one, the very first episode. It was Cardiff Traffic Control. Indeed, it is Cardiff I Traffic know. Control. Oh, is it really? Control. Yeah. Well, I'd like to think that Unit and Cardiff Council have the same architect, and that's why the buildings look the same across the world. <laughs> yes, I think you're onto something. <laughs> but this night. Well, that happens internationally. But Absolutely. This night medicine. was very, very stressful because there was a traffic accident, a very difficult. Horrible traffic accident. Oh. So we were filming there at night, not knowing if we'd be kicked out at and any And they had point. said to us, if anything happens, you know, you're yeah. at a risk filming here. If anything happens, we're just going to clear you out because it's more important to look after Cardiff's roads. Oh, Quite come right. on. I Priorities. Expect- so at what stage did they decide it wasn't tragic enough? Well, I, was getting- I think we just sealed the doors. Right. Now, look, it's Billy Piper with a very big gun in a tight jacket. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. It's Does British TV just, get better that than that? That lucky milkman extra. He got the full works, didn't he? He did. Big, important <laughs> scenes. And look, you were yes. there for Paul O'Grady. I was. You went. I love Paul O'Grady. I didn't get to meet him. I was trapped in the green room feeling scared. But then for the filming, <laughs> I, Eve Miles, yeah. Gareth and John. Ga- yes. Bless them for coming along. Yeah, what was that? Thank God we killed off two of them. It would have been more expensive. Now, really? should we uh, should we pause at this point to remember uh, the rather good uh, Mr. Smith at the read through? Ah, oh. Xander, was... Xander Armstrong, yes. the voice of Mr. Smith, the computer, wasn't available for the read through. But I think I think that part went slightly better. Who did it at the read through? Continue, David. Why did you think it was went it better? You? I gave my Mr. Smith. <laughs> it was you. I gave my Mr. Smith. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to keep ah, that going. Sorry to cool. say, you're overshadowed. Who am I? Well, we did a Sarah Jane read through recently, yeah. and uh, we hadn't got anyone s- sitting in for Mr. Smith, and so uh, Elizabeth Slayton read it. <laughs> <laughs> what? The best Mr. Smith is Gareth Roberts in Who's read throughs, who, who just makes it sound writer. like, how can I put this on a commentary? A pervert. <laughs> <laughs> You, that, that actually happens then. That's not just a bit of incidental music. Well, no, it was incidental music. And now it's a, and now it's a, and now it's become such a laugh. That yeah, it happens yeah, yeah. Every time. Yeah. yeah. This we is the first it. time it's actually been acknowledged. Right. As, right. An actual fanfare. Because I, yes, I always thought it was incidental music. Yeah. But um, it just tickled me That's as a, I was writing that. That might be a metatextual gag. Mm-hmm. It may if, be. I was, if I was entirely sure what metatextual Look meant. Look at her face. Oh, Look at this. She's I brilliant. Just, Ghostly. I love hearing the Daleks before you see them. It's mm. just. Oh, it's a thrilling. So we saw that episode yesterday, David. We saw the oh. second cut of Christmas. Wow. Excellent. Just to tantalise Ex- the faithful it's viewer. Fantastic. Oh, that's it's exciting. Really, oh, we're really thrilled a bit. Exciting. We almost locked it. Well, if you've, almost, got, not if you've got, got, got this DVD box set in your Christmas stocking, you've only hours to wait to see it. Oh, that's oh, true. That's nice. We, on the other hand, have got months to go yet. Yeah, on Christmas it's Day, if, if you opened this on Christmas Day, would you really start at the episode 12 commentary? Oh, you so don't know your viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you. Well, someone will. Well, he's he Dempsey. Yeah. He is or Dempsey. Make peace. I used to love Which one was he? Make peace. Uh, oh. He was Dempsey. Was he Dempsey? They put the man's name first. Yeah, they probably would. In those days. Glennis Barber as Make Peace. Yes. You said that with a certain. Oh, oh really? Glennis Did Barber. you? It's a shame they have a. Oh, this was a huge scene. This yeah, was, was cut. This scene was absolutely enormous. Where I you know. stepped up the TARDIS. You probably yeah. read this, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, you? I, I mean, did read this version. It was in it till the very last minute, and and the whole shadow proclamation was in crisis, which is like a police station in crisis. So there was Slitheen in there, and a half, and oh, Quillotine, and a fifteen foot adipose. Yeah, that's the bit I loved. Yeah, and, um, and then we did and, the budget. And then we did the budget. So yeah. Correct, yeah. yeah. You've got to be quite... Now, oh, that's my phone bleeping. I'm sorry, well, that's me. I'm a very important man. People say this could be important. Um, I think you what should, is that? You should tell the faithful viewers what it is. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, who is it? We're being uh, texted uh, live. Someone's saying, my darling, who's that then? Oh. Uh, Kath. 
Kath. I've got no idea who that is. But... David, yes. can you remember your Jadoon dialogue? Can you give us a blast? Ah, ooh, the fast no. bit going Yeah, the fast bit. Mahal is the last <laughs> bit. The Slitheen were there, and one of the Slitheen <laughs> was a little baby Slitheen. Oh, I love this. Oh, yes. This which stories. spoke with the voice of Margaret Blaine, Margaret Slitheen, voiced by Annette Badland. Oh, of course, yes. Who did actually record that line? I've already put in a request For what? Uh, unofficially to Russell to somehow cheeky. get that scene back in, in one of the yes. special things. Yeah. Well, find a reason for the doctor to go somewhere and see all those well, monsters. A big it would be great. Space it? Air, airport or something. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Now, I love this what place. Is that? This is great. Do you still love being in the TARDIS? Of course I Having do. Having done oh. it for so many years, do you still get that? that many. Buzz? Oh, not that old. <laughs> oh, it's like decades. It is decades. <laughs> Look at us. We saw a lot of Do you know what a draven is? Do you know? No. No. <laughs> what is a draven, David? It's uh, it's me. a very uh, obscure uh, 60s Doctor Who reference. Blonde Dolly Bird clones. Yeah. Oh, I wonder why yeah. you remember. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but uh, all missing, all missing from the archives. Gone, gone. So you, all, all they've got is a, is a few little oh, black and white yeah. photos. And they had robots called Chumblies. Yeah. Oh, they sound great. Imagine great. Really walking in saying, we're calling this next monster the Chumbly. The Chumbly. <laughs> Who created the Chumbly? William Ems. Ask me another five you're points to Russell. Awesome. You're frightening me, yeah. the two of you, frankly. Einstein says when the bees disappear, you've got three years left to live. I know, this Did is where it started, yes. Don't yeah. panic, don't panic. Because of the... Because they really are disappearing in some places. Oh, no, I know they are disappearing. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. 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 That's cheered us up, isn't no, it? But, but wait, when did Einstein say that you had three years after they'd gone? He was probably drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why was he talking about it in the first place? He'd just been stung or something? Um, Dalek's your favourite, David? Oh, that's an interesting oh. question. I don't know if they are or not. Oh, yeah. There's Come something... Ah, there's you something... love that Isolus, don't you? I do. The Isolus is my favourite. I do love the Isolus. I love the Isolus too. <laughs> the Isolus was going to be in that scene as well. The Isolus flew oh, past. Yeah. Oh, that's the right. Isolus drifted past it in the Shadow of Proclamation. <laughs> yeah. And what would have been even better is if somebody just gulped it down as they, swatted <laughs> they went it. by. Donna just swatted it. <laughs> and why isn't he so about the crypt? I, kind of um, I bet he's turned it down. Amazed. He must he have been phoned some me of... up and, um, and said, oh, well, it's great, oh, marvellous script. It was a brilliant idea. Those Daleks have only got one eye, so what if I what if we'll find a paint gun? I went out shooting them all with a paint gun. I thought, laughed so much. I just went, right, I'm putting that in. And he was thrilled, wasn't he? He did, yes. Believe you were doing it. At the Christmas launch of Voyage of the Dam, then he's going, have you done that paint gun? See, that's going, it's, yes, it's in. It's, and he's going, no, not really. Yeah. That's going, yes. You want to burn it? <laughs> it's in. How do yeah. you disobey Love Bernard Cribbage? No, you don't know. I never get bored of seeing Look at their shit. Get his, That's get his a head great blown shot. Off. <laughs> 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 that is Graham Harper, his best. Graham Harper is just the best. This is my least favourite moment of the whole episode. Where oh, the teapot. Where <laughs> Jackie appears, Jacqueline appears with a teapot in well, the middle of a We're trying to catch around she the He does this. You, meanwhile, haven't left up a boat. No, no. Catherine, it's like... This was all one day. All these scenes was Catherine yeah, and I one day. Yeah, you're on up a boat kicking... Kicking the TARDIS to bits. I was about to swear. I was about to swear. I was trying not to swear. I was stuttering. Because I was trying not to swear. You were keeping, you were keeping the, 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 the certificate on this DVD box set down. It's like last year you ended up in a birdcage, just a little CGI thing. Yes. This year in the, in the TARDIS. Yeah. Normally, because I've got Phil Collinson chirping away on my shoulder going, if you can wrap David a week early, that saves me a fortune. <laughs> Goodness, she was free. I know, because there were a lot of options yeah. for this. It was, if it had been Harriet, it put, could have been Elton Pope. Lovely Mark oh, Warren. Of course. It's like, see, there I were a lot of choices. Work. There was another option as well, which was like, because you know, you never know how busy people are, which is that someone's great 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 grandchild appears, and lo and behold, Jessica Hines appears on the screen. Oh. That was rather nice, because the Journal of Impossible Things would have had lots of details about the TARDIS written in it. Yes. That so would she would have gone, like, here's That's rather thing. exciting. That's all these options, all oh, these options. Wow. And Harry Jones. In the end, I was wasting my time, because Penelope just said yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Doctor, it isn't not, you know, as, you know, as fans will know, that there's been the story of the Daily Star saying, she becomes the Dalek Emperor. <laughs> um, the, the, but it's sort of, I'm sort of, I mean, this is box set times, so this is way later, but before is this, we're actually recording this before transmission. Yeah. And I think that's going to spoil it for a lot of fans because you'll see that death scene and the Daleks will come in. Oh, and a lot yes. of people. Assume she's coming back next week. Well, assume, or they captured her, yeah. took her to the ship and converted her into the Emperor. Uh, so actually, sometimes those false rooms are really annoying because you think yes. you won't get the proper satisfaction Heroic out of that payoff. scene. Yes. And also, it, it, covered with the fact that we don't actually see her die 
in two you cities. You leave your telly on anyway. It doesn't do work. Tell me on, tell me it you you work. walk You're out of rooms right. leaving global everything warming, blaring David. all night. David, it's, it's so terrible. Bad. Global warming is all down to Russell D. It's such a lonely life. It's like I have a friend. Oh, oh, we don't care. Oh, think about the bees. <laughs> think about that's why you the bees are, are leaving. The bees. It's, it's you. Me. Yes, We've it's solved me. it. Do you know? I've not, I, I, I've come to London today. I switched it off. Quite well. I'm glad done. to hear it. There and don't are. you feel better? And as I did it, I thought of you. <laughs> <laughs> I actually did. That is. True. I'm glad. So I'm glad. I. I have been actually sitting in Cardiff Bay having a meal with David, and he, <laughs> across the bay he's gone. You've left your tent. <laughs> Like, leave me alone. And did you feel a bit twitchy turning it off? No, I defended myself <laughs> robustly in a vigorous way and called it homophobia. So, <laughs> <laughs> always, my, always my option. Yeah. Very good. Now, <laughs> no, um, sorry, not to... Uh, you're going to you're talk, you're gonna talk about the phone number, I'm, yeah. exactly what I'm going to talk about. Do you know, I knew I could see try you. It? Try it. Phone it it, it no. does work. Oh, oh, double seven zero zero. Wait, 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 I turned my phone off. Right. Who's your, who you Hannah, write it down and then hold it up at the window so we can remember it. We were talking to Hannah out in the booth there. <laughs> yeah, there's not, there's is, not a silent Hannah I know the answer <laughs> to this because That's my someone, the crew, someone on the crew told me. <laughs> oh, double seven, seven zero. We've lost it now. We didn't write it oh, down fast It's coming enough. up again. I'm sure is it's it coming up again? No. Isn't it? I don't think it is coming up. Have we done again. Mr. Smith going to 200%? Have we done that? We're so busy talking, we're not listening to it. We, we, we might. Keep we might, going, Faith Review. Do you think we should, or for the first time in a comedy, should we stop the there tape and go back and no, do this? There is <gasps> definitely a number that is featured across Doctor Who that is a member of the crew. Yes, and they do that is get true. They do, that's I happened. I, I'm aware of uh, Yes. No. Uh, oh, 9 0 0 4 6 1. It's too fast. Oh, it's there. It's too small. 07700. We oh, should. Come on, come on, come on. Will be no. I think we've seen it for the we last time. We should have now. had a plan. We should have. Such. Yeah. She just brings so much with her, doesn't she? Now we should have Phil Collison on this commentary because he loves Harriet Jones and Penelope Walton so much. He swears she survives. He says she's got a little trap door. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's now moved to BBC Manchester to head up the drama department there, yes. so he so he can put together the she's spin-off. Just, that's right. She's just appeared <laughs> through door. a trap door <laughs> yeah. in the basement of the building yeah. and is clambering her way up <laughs> to the bowels of the building. Everyone well, there, could there's, 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 a, there's, a, there's a tricky mm. logic point in, oh. within this, oh. in, in the oh, terms Russell. of the acting of it. Now we um, that we that, Okay, uh, Hamlet. <laughs> <laughs> no! Well, we did make the decision, with, along with Graham Harper, that we didn't hear any of that because if we heard the word Dalek, it's then quite difficult to then go into. Oh, look how great it is to see everyone. That's right. right. No, you're absolutely right. But he, you do obviously hear some things because later on I say Sarah Jane said that people were being taken. Yes. So, oh, yes. Uh, and I, I oh, again, we're not watching the final mix of this uh, sound wise. So yes. Uh, so I'll just say to those who might well, be at the final down mix. Sarah's <laughs> bit of the Daleks. We've been right. threatened by yes, David. Yes, yeah. Isn't that brilliant? He's, well, he's been in the Time War and it's all gone very Oh, no, 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 no. Before no, the Time no, War? Before oh. the Time War. Ah, it was small. Did, did you hear, did you hear the, horror, the horrified, dismissive tone <laughs> from Russell? No, yeah. no, it was... She's brilliant here. Oh, she's always brilliant. I know, but oh, look at that. I love Mr Smith though. saying I will protect the boy. I, I get quite emotional at that bit. <laughs> yeah. It's only a Zylock computer. Yeah. It was much better when I said it. Yeah. Uh, it was more It was more emotional the way I, I, the way I did it. Can't you whisper? Whisper now. Do you not know that I can't whisper story? Can you not whisper? And for was, hello, Julie. Hello, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> but that's only because I was able to mimic you then. Yeah, really, and and and... You run so fast. Well, and that, that's down to Graham because usually, you know... Look at that. You have to slow down. You have yeah. to slow down for camera moves, but Graham got a, a, a quad bike so that we could both... Oh, the quad bike's back. ...go at full <laughs> belt. the quad bike. Uh, Russell, gets his use how box. cheeky is your episode 12 climax? <laughs> it, it doesn't. Let's just take a moment. It is a bit. It does not look more cheeky than this. How much people hate the beginning of episode 13? <laughs> I think that's... <laughs> does this mean I am the 10th and the 11th Doctor as well? <gasps> you see, I don't think so. Do you? No, I don't think so. Because he says... It's that a speech at the top of those, he's very clear about I suppose it depends on the biology of regeneration and whether... Because uh, clearly it, 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 the amount of energy is created, but he doesn't need it all, which is why yes. he cycles into the hand, which is why what happens, happens. And yes, now, I, I am the now best you want to be number 10 and number 11 well, doctor. why not? Come on. I can't wait to see this Hamlet. He's going to come on in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> Blow up the audience! Exciting. And here he comes. This Who's is... it going to be next? Jimmy Nesbitt? Michael Sheen? <laughs> Jimmy Cranky. David Morrissey? Well. Ah. Ah. Did you love doing this? David? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Look at those three. Clinging on to each other. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> I bet you fall out was just busy laughing. Frankly. <laughs> ah, look at the next time trailer. No, it'll go. Wait, we're looking no, at the black screen credits, now. But yeah, no. we're all we're seeing is uh, a black screen. Also, David Tennant. We're trying to make a, it look. This is the time to announce there will be no trailer. Oh, there's no trail. We're to doing, be continued. That's all we're playing. Up. Is that all we're going to see? Yes. Ah, oh, oh, isn't that trail. exciting? See, because what trail could live up to that? Yes. No, yeah, true. Yes. There will be TV trails in the week. Faithful viewers are going to keep talking. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, there was. We're not to have to go yet.